Hello friends, in today's video I am going to show step by step, how to make a Bluetooth controlled car using Arduino. This car can be controlled remotely from a mobile phone using Bluetooth. The Bluetooth remote control interface in mobile phone is shown in the top left. To make the project more interesting, I have added front and rear lights and also a horn, which can be controlled from a phone. This car can easily cross rocky terrains as all the four wheels are driven by powerful geared motors. The Bluetooth remote control car can go forward, reverse, turn right, turn left, sound horn, and has front and back lights. After watching this video, you will be able to make this project by your own. If you have any questions regarding this project, please let me know in the comment section. I will surely reply and help you with the answers. Please do subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss any of my future videos on DIY projects and interesting experiments. For this DIY project, we need an Arduino Uno board, motor driver board, four numbers of motors, four numbers of 65mm diameter rubber wheels, battery pack, Bluetooth module and some jumper wires for making easy electrical connections. I have given the link for buying these items in the description box. Over to a brief overview of the Arduino Uno and L298 10 motor driver module. The Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board based on the microchip 18Mega328P microcontroller. The board is equipped with sets of digital and analog input-output pins that may be interfaced to various expansion boards, shields, and other circuits. The board has a power section, 6 analog input-output pins and 14 digital input-output pins. It can be powered by the USB cable or by an external battery ranging from 7 to 20 volts. Arduino Uno can be programmed with the Arduino IDE integrated development environment via a usb cable the l298 10 motor driver module is a high power motor driver module for driving dc and stepper motors l298 10 module can control up to two dc motors with directional and speed control this module consists of an l298 motor driver ic and a 78 mo55 volt regulator the power supply is given to this circuit board through these pins. These are the pins for connecting the motors. And these are the pins for receiving the input digital commands for controlling the motor, that is starting and stopping the motor and changing the motor rotation direction. Now, let us begin building the Bluetooth controlled car. I cut the plywood to the shape as shown here, which forms the base of the Bluetooth controlled car. The template can be downloaded by following the link given in the description. Now, fix the motors on all four corners of the plywood sheet, as seen in the video. The motors are now fixed on all four corners. Drill two holes in the plywood as shown, for routing the motor wires from below to top, where the Arduino motor driver boards will be installed. Insert the motor wires through the drilled holes and bring them above. Now connect 65mm wheels to all four motor drives.
It is time to fix the Arduino board, motor driver board and the battery pack in position. Let us now start giving the wire connections. The positive terminal of both the left side motors can be jointly connected to one terminal of the driver board. The negative terminal of both the left side motors can be connected to the other terminal of the driver board. Now, do the same thing for the right side motors also. Now, connect the battery pack to the motor driver board. One more wire has to be connected to both the terminals of the driver board for carrying over the power to the Arduino Uno. I used two jumper wires for this. The positive terminal from the battery pack is to be connected to the plus 5 volt pin of the Arduino board, and the negative terminal to be connected to ground. Connect the pin numbers 8, 9, 10 and 11 of digital outputs from Arduino to the control pins of the motor driver board with a jumper cable. The Arduino communicates to the motor driver board through these digital outputs. Let us now connect the Bluetooth module for transmitting and receiving signals from the mobile phone to Arduino board. The plus 5V pin of the Bluetooth module is connected to the plus 5V pin of the Arduino board and, the ground pin of the Bluetooth module is connected to ground of the Arduino board. The receive and transmit pins of the Bluetooth module is to be connected to digital input pin no 2 and 3 respectively in the Arduino board. To make the project more interesting, I have added front and rear LED lights. Connect wires to the positive and negative terminals of the LED lights. The positive terminal in LED light is longer and can be thus identified easily. I also added a buzzer which serves as a horn. Connect wires to both the positive and negative terminals of the buzzer. Connect the positive wire to pin number 5 of the Arduino board. Join all the wires connecting to the negative pins of all 4 LEDs and the buzzer and connect it to the ground pin of the Arduino board. 
Join the wires connecting the positive pins of both front LEDs and connect the same to pin number 7 of the Arduino board. Join the wires connecting the positive terminals of the rear LED lights also and connect to pin number 6 of the Arduino board. Do not forget to add a 1 kilo ohm resistor while connecting the positive pins to the Arduino board. This is very important. Otherwise the LEDs will get burnt out due to excess current flowing through them. I also installed a tower on which the Bluetooth module will be attached. This will give better reception and range for the Bluetooth signals. The Bluetooth operated remote control car, with front and rear lights and horn, is now ready. All the electrical connections are now completed. The Arduino board has to be now connected to PC or laptop and the code is to be uploaded through the IDE software. Let us learn how to do that. Connect Arduino to PC through an USB cable. Open the IDE software and open the code. The code can be downloaded from the link given the description. The code mainly consists of two sections, a setup section and a loop section. In the setup section, we write the commands that have to be executed once, like initializing the variables. In the loop section, the commands that have to be executed continuously have to be written. In the beginning of the code, we initialize the Bluetooth module, pin number 2, for transmitting the signals and pin number 3, for receiving the signals. Further, the digital output pins where the motor, LEDs, and the horn are connected, are also assigned to variables using the defined command. Here, the pin modes of the variables are declared as outputs, which means that these are always output signals. In this command, the serial data from the Bluetooth module is read, and depending upon the buttons pressed in the smartphone, the control will go to different sections of the loop. For example, if the forward button is pressed in the phone, the control will go to case F, as it commands all the motors to rotate in the forward direction. So that is it about a brief description of the code. Connect the Arduino to the PC using an USB cable. Open the code and click on the Upload button. The Receive and Transmit LEDs in the board will flash which shows that the code is successfully uploaded. Now download the software from Play Store using the link given in description. Search for Bluetooth devices and connect to HCO5 module. Use pin 1234, while pairing for the first time. The Bluetooth controlled car is ready to go. Now let us see it in action. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.